time friends, it's Kazi Zahersky here, children's book author and illustrator, and today I am here to read a fun-filled traveling adventure story, and it is called All in a Flap. And this book is all about an adorable duo, Arnold, who is an anteater, and Lou, who is a tree frog. Together they dream of taking flight and traveling the world together, but when things don't quite go as planned, they simply learn to try, try again, and find a new way. All right, shall we begin? All in a flap, written and illustrated by the very talented Francesca Watt. In a beautiful rainforest in the heart of Peru lived Arnold, the anteater, and a tree frog named Lou. Dreaming of adventure, they read and they talked as high in the trees the macaw birds squawked. If we had wings, we could take flight around the world to see the sights. Where would we go, inquired a bug-eyed Lou. Could we fly to the moon and Saturn too? No, replied Arnold, as his heart did a dance. I mean the Eiffel Tower in Paris, in France. We'd see the Great Wall of China if we could fly. Cappadocia Caves, where balloons fill the sky. We tore the Taj Mahal with its minaret towers, explore the Pyramid of Giza for many hours. The little frog leapt to brand new heights. We could even see the northern lights. But we can't fly, said Arnold. We don't have any wings. We could make some, said Lou, using some of these things. So they gathered and looped and tied and stuck, and they flapped their wings to try their luck. But they didn't fly. They simply tumbled. In a heap on the ground, the duo grumbled. Ouch. When their hot air balloon became terribly tangled, up high in a basket, the best buddies dangled. With the helicopter hats, they failed once more as they hurtled towards the forest floor. <laughs> Maybe a glider would be the way to go. But it was clear yet again that the answer was no. Lou massaged his head, Arnold rubbed his snout, and they lay on the ground feeling rather put out. Then in swooped a hawk and grabbed Lou in her beak. I'm flying, I'm flying, Lou screamed with a shriek. Whoosh, they flew high till his friend was a dot and the little frog's tummy tied into a knot. I'm not sure I like flying much after all. Please, can we stop? I'm frightened I'll fall. The hawk landed swiftly on the branch of a tree. Phew, I didn't realize how scared I'd be. Would you mind awfully taking me back? But the hawk was so hungry, she launched with a snap. Lou was so shocked that he wobbled and ah! Arnold watched his friend fall from afar. Desperate to find him, he ran and he ran. Then he found the frog and they hatched a plan. So they gathered and chopped and looped and tied and they made some big oars to steer and guide. Then off they drifted on the river so blue in search of adventure and lands anew. So don't get in a flap if your plans go astray. Just try, try again and find a new way. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed All in a Flap. I really enjoyed the story because I come from a family of a lot of traveling and my whole household loves this story. See you later. Bye, Circle Time friends.